Micah Bellew here, CEO and founder of True Fluency Kids Spanish Immersion. I am the non-native Spanish speaker here with my bilingual mama, Alex Castellum Sullivan. Hi, Alex. How are you today? Hello. Hola, hola. hola I'm hola. very good. <laughs> good. And we come here to fight for our kids' bilingualism. Alex already have three kids. I am trying to get pregnant and I'm already obsessing over how to get my kid bilingual. I am obsessing about it. And so Alex, I know that on the weekends or maybe every day, you love combing Facebook for bilingual questions and trying to help mamas. Yes, I'm actually in uh, several bilingual groups and it's about parenting, uh, parents uh, supporting each other uh, with tips and advice on how to raise bilingual kids and actually i have this uh, question from a mama that i think that it's very interesting and i know that you can answer for her micah uh, i'm gonna read it for you hi group i'm spanish uh, i'm gonna read it verbatim i'm spanish mother tongue and i speak spanish to my son just saw on two days per week and he understands really well the rest of the week i speak exclusively in english not mixing with any spanish but as I'm not native, I'm lack of vocabulary in the daily things, even though I keep speaking uh, and explaining and describing when I don't find the right word to say. I'm a little worried if he will ever be fluent enough to express his needs in English. He is 23 months and say few English words and almost nothing in Spanish. I'm not worried about Spanish. Are you fluent in your target language? But you are afraid you're not speaking correctly to your child can you share any results so far thanks so she's a native spanish speaking mom that only teaches her son twice a week and then she's she forces herself to speak english on the other five days but so, we live in a kind of like me then i'm not a na native spanish speaker she is though but i'm saying it's the opposite do you see what i'm saying like, yeah, he's doing, she knows her kid's going to speak Spanish. I know my kid's going to speak English. So, so she's, she's forcing to herself to yeah. teach him English. Yeah, yeah. But she doesn't know that her, her kid's going to speak English regardless in You're school like, and no, radio and TV. No, no, yeah. no, 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 my first question. Where does she live? Let me see. She didn't say. That's the number one question is, so I'm going to answer this in two ways because we don't know where she lives. If she lives in an English speaking country, like you were about to say, her kid is going to speak fluent English no matter what. Isn't that what you were about to say? Yep. Yep. Yeah. So her kid's gonna speak English no matter what. But I have a feeling she's not in an English speaking country because she sounds so worried about the kid learning English. Does that make sense? You know what? I'm stalking her. She lives in Italy. <gasps> okay. Okay. So she, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I, no, 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 no. This is the, this is, this is important to know where they are. Okay. Yeah. She's in the same situation I'm in. I know my kid is going to speak English. I live in Dallas, Texas. Everyone speaks English. I'm fighting for Spanish and French. You're fighting. You live near Dallas, Texas also. Mm -hmm. I'm fighting mm -hmm. for Spanish. We know our kids are going to speak English. That is not a question. And her kid, if she lives in Italy and they speak Spanish in the home, her kid is 100% going to speak Spanish and Italian. So That's why she's worried. She's fighting for English. This makes sense, which is what I'm... So she's in the same situation I am. I'm not a native Spanish speaker, and I'm gonna try to speak to my child as much as possible in Spanish in the home. So I am worried about the same thing she's worried about. Am I gonna teach them bad habits in Spanish because I'm not a native Spanish speaker? Is my kid gonna have an accent like mine and not a real Spanish accent? And, um, I think those are my two worries. And what I would say to her is don't, well, first off, don't worry about that at all. You have got to do those five days that you're doing 
do those five days a week. And it doesn't matter if your child is saying a couple of words wrong. It doesn't matter. They'll, they'll, yeah. they'll fix that later. You know, yeah. and, and Alex, don't you give your kids TV and things to watch? And yeah, I was going to tell her, don't worry, YouTube and TV is going to yes. fix it for you. It's the same thing. That's what I battle against every day. So that'll be my advice. Take my enemy and use it because what I battle every day, it's the English everywhere, the TV and YouTube, Netflix, everything. So that's where my kids are learning English, not from me. It, so she should use the resources, technology. Well, and I would I would say this, this is the firm answer I would give. If she wants a concrete answer, this is exactly what I would say. Speak English as much as possible because the hardest thing for most parents is getting the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours needed of just hearing the language back and forth. She says she has a 23 month old. So she yeah. just keeps speaking English, keeps speaking English. Eventually she can find a little friend from the United States or from England or Australia and they can have play dates. She yeah. can get, whenever they get old, the kid gets older, she can get a native English tutor to correct yeah. these small things at age like four and five. She could even find someone in her neighborhood that's from the US, England, or Australia and just play a $10 an hour babysitter that's from the US just to play with your kid. Yeah. So she shouldn't worry about learning the kid learning wrong vocabulary because that can easily be fixed later. But the fluency and the listening comprehension that you're giving your child, yeah. that's the hard part. Yeah. yeah, consistently. The consistency is the hard part. You can fix that other stuff later, girl. Don't even yep. worry. So <laughs> we're gonna send you this video and we really hope it helped you. So, True Fluency Kids, over and out. See you.